The first thing you want to consider in making your family legacy video is, who is it going to be about? You probably already have someone in mind, your father, mother, grandfather, or an aunt or uncle. You may also be considering making one about yourself, and that's a great idea and something we should all probably do as a special gift to our families. Throughout this course, I'm going to be talking about two ways you could make your video, either about someone else or about yourself. Some of the techniques will be a little different if you're making a video about yourself. And don't think that it's egotistical or self-serving to do that. It's an incredible gift to the family if you could sit down with a camera and tell your life story and then present it to the family. I applaud you if you're planning to make your own legacy video with yourself as a subject. I guarantee they will keep that video and cherish it for years and years. One great idea is to record your story on camera and then give the raw video to a younger relative to finish as a school project. What a great way to bring the family together. I also want to say you don't have to be elderly to be the subject of a family legacy video. I've done them for people in their 40s and people in their 90s. Naturally, if you do have a family member who's up in years, you'll want to get their story recorded as soon as you can. Unfortunately, if that person has a stroke, slips into dementia, or passes on, all those stories are lost forever. And let me say a word about veterans. The way I look at it, veterans get top priority. So if you have a family member that served in World War II, Korea, or Vietnam, be sure to record their story. You can even submit their video to the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress. Click the Resources tab on the right for a link to their website. In deciding whose story to capture on video, you might start with the most senior member of your family or the person who is the most compelling story. Or you may just start with the person who's the most anxious to tell their story. Not everyone is willing to sit down and talk in front of your camera. Once you've decided who the subject of your video is going to be, it's time for you to convince them to talk about themselves. And that is our next topic.